he is certainly no stranger to guys who are going to throw and throw hard the entire time. Right. All right, my fans, here we go. Spar Star Promotions is proud to present the rerounds of mixed martial arts in the middleweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by CPI, Cellular Performance Institute, and MMACageCanvas.com. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Big Mark Reyes. And now, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing red trunks. He is training out of Pantheon Combat Sports Fitness in Costa Mesa by way of Huntington Beach, California. He weighed 183 pounds. Tonight, he is making his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing DeWitt Virtual the Four. His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing green trunks. He is hailing out of Thomas Sully Academy in Santa Ana. He weighs 183 pounds. He brings to the cage a record two wins, losses with one coming by way of stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Ilus Niazi. All right, fans, here we go. The rerounds of mixed martial arts in the middleweight division. Here we go, DeWitt Virtue the fourth up against Idris Niazi. Middleweight scrap here, fight number four of the night. Last one on that free live stream on YouTube. Again, click the link in the description for the pay-per-view. You do not want to miss out on these next 11. We did get a glove touch. Idris opening up with a lead leg front kick to the midsection there. Closed hands fight. These guys are fast for middleweights too. You can see the speed already in the striking and the footwork. That is a big cage too. So, I mean, you have to close the distance. It's a little harder. Now he's doing, um, he's doing a great job of controlling him, looking to drop down to a single, maybe a double leg. He might have this here. I don't like the balance. Well, he's so able to pummel or, uh, yank his arm back up. When your opponent's high, yeah. you want to bring him higher. When they're low, you want to push him lower. Right. And in that position, he brought him higher, so it changed the dynamic of the position. It's no longer a shot. He's going for a throw. He doesn't have an arm attempt. And he got gets it. it. That's that Ronda Rousey-style throw with the head only. I don't even know if he's got the he's, arm. He's in. trying to. Oh, it he looks like he's trying arm. to shove the arm. Oh no, he's going. Is he going for the choke? You can. Yeah, no, there's, that's there's that Mark Coleman style. Uh, yeah. But now he's no, giving he's, up the back. You got to be careful. He's got one hook in. I think he, he wants the key lock off of this. He's there's for a key it. lock. There's an arm bar, but you can also give up the back if you let your head. Uh, so now you see him addressing the wizard because he lost control of that position. Very risky position. Nice defense from Virgil. Anaconda. Stuck in an anaconda here. Standing at a kind of very difficult to finish. If he can sit and roll, he might have it. Well, he's trying to jam him, his head up against the fence. It kind of turns it into a... There's the roll. Almost a, a suffocation of collapsing yes. on the lungs. He's got to he's got to address that that top arm, though. Oh, he's, oh, he's got, got, the got the tap. tap. I'll be darned. How do you like that? Idris Niazi, first round submission by Anaconda Choke. Wow, we don't see many Anacondas at this level. And that was a nice thing. Those long arms create a lot of leverage. And I think he caught Virtue off guard. Yeah, I think he was in a position. He was trying to figure out how to get out. And it just kept on getting worse and worse. And it just crept up on him. Yeah, I hate that feeling. Here's that See throw. Again. Yeah, beautiful head and arm throw. Great position with the feet to be able to block that ankle so he couldn't stand to uh, keep his balance. And here's the finish. And to your point, Joe, uh, using that cage to great effect, it, he didn't have the best control with his legs, but the cage cut off the avenue of escape. Normally, you're supposed to turn in and hook the legs or right. the modified finish of hooking the arm. Correct. In that particular position, the fence became the other element. Yeah. And he was able to get more leverage by kind of pushing off the fence. And the virtue just had nowhere to go. You see how tight and compressed their bodies were up against that cage. Used that to great effect. Beautiful submission. How do you like to nail that, Joe? Bell belly down? So, in the anaconda, a lot of times you want to just 
anytime you're doing a defense, reverse engineer the offense. Right. Okay, he's trying to jam the position into a into a Q position. I'm gonna go parallel right. and rotate around. Yeah. So reversing the the finish is the easiest defense a hundred percent of the time. So in the Anaconda, they're trying to compress, so you want to not be compressed. So to do it, they have to cut that angle. They, you don't give them that angle. You, you ever see them the block in the, the hip, not yeah. letting the guy get in? Right. And then you look for a sucker drag, a peek out. Yeah, the sucker drag is so strong there. I like the dip set and pull guard. So like, I'll go from the Anaconda to an underhook and then pull you on top and sweep you. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 33 seconds of round number one, referee in charge, Bit Mark Reyes stops the contest due to a top out from an Anaconda choke submission. Our winner in the red corner is...